So I'm making some videos on report cards because I think that it could help people to do the, uh, to do it more efficiently. Um, and what I have here is a template of a student that basically this is a report card from last year, um, just one report card. And basically what the teacher did was she made 25 um, of these documents, one for each student, went through and edited them and added the grades in. And it probably took a really long time. So I decided that there's probably an easier way and this is what I came up with. Now you might notice that the system I'm showing you will take some time to set up, but you can use it again and again. And it's actually really good for other applications as well, um, which you could probably think of on your own. Um, but here's my report card from last year. I'm gonna use this as a template. So I'm gonna call this uh, report card template. Okay, so this is just an old copy. I've made a new copy of it, um, and I'm now gonna turn it into a template that I'm gonna use for all the report cards that I'm gonna make. Um, and what I'm basically gonna have it do is like, let's take for instance this first line, which is their first name and last name. Um, instead of me having to type this in, I just wanna um, I just want to create a spreadsheet where I'm going to put all this data in. So I'm going to create a new spreadsheet and I'm going to call this spreadsheet report card data. Nope, not datas. <laughs> data. And what I want to do is I want to have this spreadsheet uh, have columns that then map over to this template. So here's how you do that. Um, let's take the first line, which is the student's first and last name. So I'm gonna create a column for first name. I'm gonna create a column for last name and I'll make them bold just so they stand out a bit more. Um, and I'm gonna go back to um, my template here and I can't have one student's name on the template. So here's what I do. Um, I'm gonna go to add-ons and I'm gonna go to get add-on. I'm going to search for something called mail merge. And when you do that, it's the second option, mail merge. You click, it's free, so you click that. You're going to allow it to access your account. And then the mail merge application is going to pop up on the right hand side. And if you ever need it, if you ever lose it, you click on add ons and just go to mail merge and then start. All right. So um, what I do for first name and last name is, first of all, I make sure that it has my right spreadsheet loaded up here. I have to click open spreadsheet if it doesn't, but it does. It has my report card data um, spreadsheet that I just created. And I didn't name my sheet, but it's finding sheet one. And I've got my first name and last name columns. So all I do is I highlight the first name, make sure that first name is selected here, and then I click add. I do the same thing here with last name. And notice it kind of changes the formatting a bit. However I format these variables, that is how the end result is going to look when um, when actual data is put into these placeholders. Um, so notice I have first name, last name, I have a space between the two. So any, any student's name that I put here will map over to those two variables. So let's call this student John Lennon, okay? Um, and then uh, this whole paragraph here is there is commentary about their um, personal and social growth. I don't have a merge field for that yet, so I have to create one over here. So I'm going to call this social emotional comments. Okay. Um, and all I have to do over here is click this little blue refresh. And now it'll show me that new merge field social emotional comments and I hit add and then it replaces um, that paragraph with a placeholder and anything that I type here the paragraph that I type in here will then map over here okay and the same goes for every single grade I need a self-concept for performance and a self-concept for progress so I'm gonna add those two And of course, this will vary for your school. You might not need this level of detail. It might be easier or maybe even more granular, but this is how I do it at my school. Okay, so these two grades. Um, I'm gonna, for, the, for their social emotional paragraph, I'm gonna say they're doing just fine socially and emotionally. And I would never say that um, in an actual report card. Um, also, if you notice that your paragraphs are kind of like spreading out, taking up a lot of space, you can go to format 
text wrapping and clip, and that'll make it a little neater. All right. Um, for self concept, I'm going to give them an M for meets the standard, and I'm going to give them well, let's give them an E for this one for progress and self concept. And then I would go back here and I would click refresh. And for these first two grades, I'll just replace them with the two columns that I just created. Okay, and then I'm going to go through this entire report card and replace every single variable with a column from here. And it might take a little while. It, it took me like, I don't know, for this is a longish report card. It took me like maybe like half an hour to, to remap everything. But that half an hour is going to sa save a lot of time later because you won't be going into a million different documents making different, um, you know, 25 different um, individual Google Docs for your kids and having to edit each one and open each one and change each one. It just sounds like a big pain. So um, to do that, I'm going to skip a little bit ahead. I'm actually going to close these two. I have a, a more f like a full spreadsheet over here with a lot more grades. And I have a template here that's been completely mapped, completely mapped. And I'm going to bring up my mail merge. Um, probably need to hit refresh here to bring up the mail merge. There it is. I'm going to hit start. And it should find my, yep, it found my, my new spreadsheet. Okay. Um, and uh, I have most of the grades in. Some of them are blank. Some of the comments are blank because this is from my actual data. I just changed the names. Um, I also put in some gender pronouns because I went, <laughs> you can do this however you like. You can make it so that your template has a paragraph, then the grades, a paragraph, and the grades. I found that the literacy paragraph followed the same format every time. And stuff like reading level, I could easily just paste that in from another spreadsheet um, and, and have that import into these placeholders really well. Um, so I did the genders like he, she. Um, I, I've made those like gender one, two, three, and gender one, two, three lowercase. You don't have to go that far, but. Um, I did that really quickly, and then I copied and pasted. Um, that'll just put in the correct gender pronouns for the student. Um, you notice that the gender pronouns don't match the name. That's just because I've changed the names to uh, not use my student's actual names. Um, and then I have all of their comments here. Um, so yeah, once again, same. And then down here, I have um, the math narrative, like how they're doing in math. I just have that as a placeholder. Um, and then over here in the column where it says math narrative, I have, where is it? I have their actual paragraph. If you, if you drag this down, you can see the paragraphs that I've created for math and the grades that follow. Um, so everything's mapped over and everything is the same thing for social studies. There was like the, pretty much the same paragraph for each kid. There were some differences. So I m you know, made separate columns for those over here. Um, again, this is this level of detail, but the, the fact is whatever columns you have here and whatever data you have there will map over to your template. Your school might require a little less or a little more. It's kind of depending on your school. Um, so here's the magic part. When you're over here, what you want to do is you want to click show email settings. Oh, sorry, that's not correct. First down here, make sure that you merge to letters and not anything else. Letters will create uh, separate Google documents. Now, in order to uh, merge more than five of these students, you have to have the pro version. Um, I know that's money, and I know teachers don't have a lot of it. Um, but this is, I mean, if you see the use of this, this, this could be used for so many things. I use this to, like, I had a spreadsheet keeping track of which parents returned their signature that saying they'll come to back to school night. And uh, for the parents that didn't turn it back in, I just created a, a merge so that I could send specific letters home uh, directly to those parents. It was really easy. Um, so this is totally worth it if you um, have the money. You can spend it. Uh, $15 for 30 days versus $30 for a year. A year seems like that has a lot more value. Um, you know, and that's not too expensive considering what you pay for a lot of school supplies. But anyway, I'm not a spokesperson for mail merge. I just wanted to show it. Um, what you do is you make sure that letters is selected and you click on options up here. And you can merge specific rows. Um, that means that you can only you can make it so that not every row is merged, only rows that have a blank value for a certain for one column. Um, let's leave that blank for right now. Um, I want to make this into multiple documents, and I want the document names to be called the person's first name. 
okay? Um, and so I'm gonna save that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, run the merge. And it says I have a total of four records to merge. Do I wanna continue? And the answer is yes, I do. And it's gonna merge. I'll give it a second. Probably with a lot, a lot more, it'll take more. And then it gives me the folder where it merged everything to. And if I click on that, you'll see that all the students in my spreadsheet now have their own report card. And if we open up any one of those report cards, it's the template, but now all that data has been merged um, into those placeholders. And I know this actually was the one we used as a template, so let me just use a different one. Like I'll use Paul. Notice that their paragraph comes in perfectly, their name comes in at the top, um, and it created those four documents for me so that I don't have to go in and create every single document myself. Um, I had a few things blank, which is why some of the variables are, are showing, um, but that's the way you can do it, and it should work every time.